Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this one we're going to be making an FPS game set up in the Blender game engine. Uh, as you can see I have this basic scene of the sky and the, the sun and I have this main character. If I press 0 I get a camera view. If I hit P to play uh, you can see I can look around. There's a bunch of items over there. Uh, if I hit Z I can walk you can see the camera is moving. If I double tap Z, I can run, and you can see that there is a running animation. Um, so, yeah, that's what we'll be making in the Blender game engine. Now, keep in mind that this is going to be two p two parts. Uh, the first part, we're just going to work on the, uh, the the mouse look and the movement. Um, the second part, we'll start working on the animation so let's get to it okay now I have this default scene um, in blender now the uh, the first thing you want to do is change this from blender render to blender game So because we're, we're making a game second thing is uh, press N to bring out this property window here uh, and change this the shading settings change it from multi texture to GLSL now the reason to do this is because almost all the YouTube videos about the Blender game engine use GLSL. You're just gonna learn how to work with GLSL. Um, so now we have this cube. Now uh, press Tab, go to Edit Mode, or just select it from down here, Edit Mode, and hit S Shift Z to scale it like this. Scale it on the X and Y, except the Z. Let's just scale it up and move it up like that. And I'll hit Shift S, cursor to center, and Shift A, and add a plane and scale it up. It's going to be our floor. Okay, now uh, let's go to textured view. This is what the game's going to look like. Um, select this lamp uh, let's duplicate it just to get enough lights going out okay okay um, one thing that we should do now is select the cube, go to edit mode and go to your front face which is this one on the positive Y and select these vertices and hit shift S cursor to select it and go to object mode select the camera shift S selection to cursor and hit alt R to clear the rotation of the camera so it's pointing down now Press numpad 3, 5 to go orthographic. Um, let's go to wireframe and just move the camera like this. Uh, maybe scale it down a bit. Okay. Uh, now, with the camera selected, hit Shift S, cursor 2 selected, and hit Shift A, and add an empty empty plane axis. Uh, you can add a cube or whatever you want. I'm just going to add an empty. And so basically this is what will be animated. Um, so now there is not much to it. Uh, this is optional. I can uh, I like to select the cube and go to your uh, cube object properties here and under the display change this to wire okay so now it's like just wires because it's not going to be visible in the game um, now let's go to uh, game logic and I have the cube now selected let's work on the mouse look now let's add with the cube selected Let's add a mouse sensor. 
and this is going to be movement so it's mouse movement then an AND controller and connect it then add uh, a mouse actuator and connect it and this is going to be mouse lock okay uh, the cube will will not uh, if I press P to play go to texture view if I press P to play and move the mouse you can see it moves like this and we don't want that we want it to be moving on the Z axis like this so um, just click here to ex uh, don't use Y just use X so now it moves like this okay so that's what we want the cube it's gonna move uh, on the Z axis and the camera is gonna move on the X axis so uh, now let's select the camera and add a mouse sensor it's gonna be movement and connect it same as before mouse mouse look and use Y this time okay uh, so now uh, with the camera selected because we're, it's gonna be parented to the MT just shift select the MT and hit control P object keep transform so now the MT is controlling the camera and now with the MT selected add an always sensor and controller and a parent Okay, now this parent is going to be the cube. So now the, f the camera follows the empty and the empty follows the cube. So if I hit 0 and hit P, I can look around with the mouse now. Uh, so now let's work on our movement. Let's save. Now the movement, because we're going to be using double tap to sprint or to run, um, we're gonna be using states if you're not familiar with states basically uh, what you have here this is a state with the cube selected we have this mouse sensor connected to this mouse actuator this is a state this is the first state now to bring out the states press this little plus button in here now uh, they, the, the top section here these are all the states now all, all the others are empty they, they don't have anything so you can go to s this state there's nothing here and add other other things and you can move in between states during the game and during the gameplay so it can be very useful and it can be very uh, helpful when you're trying to organize or just uh, avoid bugs because sometimes uh, when you're working with animations especially animations uh, it's best to put different animations in different states because if they're in the same state they're just gonna they won't work smoothly because there is the priority to take in consideration and there is other stuff going around and it just it gets messy sometimes yeah so with the cube selected we're gonna add the uh, motion the walking motion so the walking is gonna be a positive number on the y-axis like this okay uh, to do this with the cube selected with in the first state by the way uh, in the initial state the bottom section here just select the first one it's gonna be the initial one um, with the first state now add a keyboard uh, sensor it's gonna be Z in my case an end controller and connect them and an actuator now it's gonna be state okay and um, this state is going to be the second one so if you press the Z you go to th the second state now the second state uh, so that we don't lose our motion that we set up in the first one this uh, mouse look let's add it again here it's going to be mouse and connect movement mouse connect and look and use the X uh, 
Okay. I can move. Okay, that's good. So uh, another thing we need to do is because in this state it's going to be the walking. So it, let's add an always sensor, an end controller, and a motion actuator. Okay. Uh, one other thing, uh, since this is our character, let's go to uh, the physics tab. It's in here. This physics button and change it from static to character. So now it has some basic physics to it. it it's like falling down. Uh, to avoid that going through the floor, uh, just scroll down until you see collision bounds. Check it. It's going to be set to box. Default is box, which is what we want because this is just a box. If I P, you can see I'm still on the floor. Okay, now let's add the um, motion. It's going to be a character motion. And like I said, it's going to be a positive number on the y axis. So let's try 0.1. Slide Z, I can walk, but when I let go, it doesn't stop. So let's set that up. Um, you want to do add a keyboard, and this is going to be the same keyboard that you pressed. Um, to get in, th th in this state which is in the first one here it's Z so if we're not pressing the Z it's gonna be invert so if we're if you're not pressing the Z we want end controller and another state actuator but this is gonna be set state it's gonna set you back to the first state Okay, so if you're not pressing the Z, you're just gonna go back to the first stage. So let's see that. I can walk, I can stop, walk, stop, walk, stop, and walk, stop. If I press zero, I can see the camera now. I can look around, I can walk now. I'm walking. Okay, save. So now let's add this printing motion, which is gonna be, uh, before we can add it, let's add a delay first it's gonna be a delay uh, now this delay is just gonna give you a, a period of time to press the Z again to start running so it's gonna be let's try 14 and connect it to this one the the uh, controller that is connected to the state the first one so you won't go back to the first state unless you are not pressing the Z and the delay happens now in this period of the delay if you do press the Z add another um, actuator uh, sensor uh, if you're pressing the Z when you let go of the Z and then you press it again you go to and controller and this is gonna be a state actuator so this this is gonna be the third state the running state, the final one, this one here. We have nothing here, so let's set up our motion first, mouse movement, and and uh, mouse look, mouse look, and use the axis. Okay. Now, if uh, let's add an always and so it's always gonna be the motion and this is gonna be a positive number on the y-axis but it's gonna be more than what we've said before so we did point 0.1 uh, let's try point 0.24 or something like that okay uh, now if I'm not pressing the Z let's add a keyboard Z and invert and connect it this is going to be state connected and set state is going to bring us back to the first one okay uh, so now let's test this out if I hit P to play I can look around I walk I double tap and I start running okay and I let go I just go back um, so if I go to camera I can see what 
is happening. Let's uh, let's add a bunch of cubes first. To see what we're doing. Just for reference. Okay, let's try this now. Let him look around. I start running. Double tap. And I'm running. Okay, so now um, that's basically it for this part. And the next part, we're gonna we're gonna animate this empty right here. I'm gonna go animation and start working on the motion because now it looks just it's boring somewhat it's like nothing's happening just frozen and you're moving forward so that's basically it uh, thank you for watching uh, I, hope you, I hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time